Hello and welcome back to Football Manager 2019 with Dunkirk in Ligue 1 in France. We have qualified for the Champions League for the second year in a row. Two times now we have finished in the top four for a team who 11 years ago were sat in the mid table of the third division. We have managed to get ourselves, we, we are close to breaking the elite of France is what I'd like to think. Today we have the final two matches of the season against bottom of the table Socho, so we'll probably lose that. And against top of the table PSG, so we'll probably win that one. We will jump right into it then against Socho, managed by Manchester United or former Manchester United midfielder and Herrera. They are, like I said, they are relegated. They cannot get out of this. They are 21 points. They've only got three victories. 12 draws is a lot of draws for a team. We need to keep an eye on Leon and Monaco. Monaco are now three points clear of us because one of their two games in hand, they have now won. Leon have still yet to play their game in hand, so they are one point behind us. As long as we keep winning, we should be finishing third and hopefully maybe a can or I think Nantes are playing Monaco. Maybe one of those two teams can slip up Monaco and we can just nick in there into second place. The starting lineup we're going to go for then, it is going to be the 4-4-2 diamond once again. So Calvin Matupa will be the goalkeeper. Abubakar Niare, wonder kid, will be our right back with Vandele Yahi and Todor Popov, also a wonder kid as our left back. Lukas Divis as the defence midfielder. Davil Vasic, the Montenegrin, will be getting a rare start as the Carolero with Englishman Kevin Turner opposite him. Opposite? Not really opposite. He's off to the left of him. Jean-Pierre Lecomte is going to be our advanced playmaker because we don't have anyone else who can play that position. This is now where I'd want to start trying to bring in some youth players into that position. Don't really have any options. Hani Ali and Marco Vergara will be the strikers today because Francois Chile has been playing awful the last few games. 6.52 over his last five matches. Marco Vergara only slightly better at a 6.64. At the penultimate game then, at Stade de la Liberation, the team, the team? The stadium, sorry, of local rivals Bologna, maybe, I still don't know how that's pronounced. We will be up against relegated Sosho. It's, we've only got two more games playing in front of the car park. I'm going to be so annoyed if our new stadium has a car park in it. Something I have done in between episodes as well is I've transfer listed a whole load of players because... As I mentioned before, we do have a lot of a lot, a lot of footballers that aren't going to get anywhere near the first team, particularly with some of the transfers that are coming in. So I have started to transfer list people. I've actually started to offer people out as well. Ali might be off to Romania, maybe, I believe, is the team that are after him. Meanwhile, we are playing a match against Socho. You wouldn't know it because, you know, we're not getting any highlights. Monaco are beating Cannes as well, so they are now going to be five points clear of us, which means it's going to be very difficult for us to catch them. In fact, it will be impossible for us to catch them because we can only get three more points unless we win this match. Oh, great, Vandalay's injured. Wonderful. It looks like a pulled groin. He's pulled his groin and the, my assistant manager, I assume it's Eunice Cabal's, turned around and said, He'll probably be able to play on. He's got a pulled groin. Popov with the ball back to Kevin Turner towards Davil Vasic. Now finds the wonder kid Niari on the right. Hani Ali is there and he has put it in the back of the net. The young Egyptian, his fifth goal of the season. He, in the last few matches, has started to show why I should probably play him ahead of a Chile or Vergara or both, I guess. Half time then, it is 1-0 thanks to that Hani Ali goal. This, I believe, is our 500th game in charge of Dunkirk as well. So I'd like to win this one. Eunice Cabal's team talk went spectacularly badly. Second half gets underway, then no substitutions for us. I don't believe Sosho have done any either. We should really beat these about 4 or 5 nil. Vergara's on a 6.4 again. Why have our strikers just decided, you know what, don't fancy playing football anymore? Throw on to Sosho, plays it forward, across to the right-hand side now. Gonzalez, he's got the right back there. Sabo's going to keep it in play, crosses in first time, and it is 1-1. Francois Mariani has equalised for Sosho, a team who have only won three games this season, and they're currently drawing with a team sat in third place in the table. Marco Vergara is going to get a shouting at at some point. I might even fine him. Can I fine him for just constantly getting 6.4s? I can definitely sub him. Vergara off, Achille on. Achille's done really well in training. He got a 10 in his last training report. So he's going to come off. We're going to bring off Yahi as well for Pokrovac. Not Yahi, sorry, Vandele for Pokrovac because of that injury. We've still got 30 minutes to play. We should be winning this match. Vergara came off on a 6.3. 
Show some passion, people. Come on. Oh, Lil a beating Leon. That is a big result for us. That will be very handy if it stays that way. 15 minutes left to play and we finally got another highlight in this match. Puget, a Puget maybe with the ball to Sabo who's got the assist for their equaliser. Turner's managed to get the ball away though. Francois Achille needs some support. Ali's there. Niare's also there. Five in the box. Achille is one of them and his seventh goal of the season. I gave him a shouting at after the last episode and said look you haven't been scoring many goals because he hasn't. He hasn't scored in about seven games, something like that. Francois Chile has just turned this game around and put us 2-1 in front. Good little finish as well from the Cameroonian. Cameroonian wonder kid, might I add. We've got three wonder kids on the pitch right now. Ali with a free kick. We've got seven minutes to play. Why, why is a right footer taking a free kick on that side and trying to curl it? If anything, that should have been a left footer taking that one. Final couple of minutes then, it's looking like we are going to just about pick up the three points here against Sosho. Once again, much like the last episode, this match hasn't been that great. We've won, yes, but we've won not exactly convincingly. We've scored two goals against a team who are currently bottom of the table. Monaco have just destroyed Cannes as well, 4-0. The full-time whistle goes. It is a 2-1 victory but it's not a particularly good result in the end. Well, it's not. It's a good result. It's not a good performance. Eunice Kabul even says it was disappointing. So we'll get Eunice to say some words. I mean, uh, Yahi looks stressed, but fair enough. So that result then, we do stay third place in the table. Interestingly for us, Leon losing against Lil Mean. There is now four points between us and Leon. Their game in hand will not be enough to move them ahead of us. So, if we get anything against PSG, we are going to be finishing third place in the table, I reckon. Monaco won their match 4-0 in the end, I think. Yes, they did, with a hat-trick from Kuipers. PSG doesn't really matter, does it? They've already won the league. Right, Marco Vergara, you're getting disciplined. Um, although, it's not really a poor performance. And I feel like I've shouted at you fairly recently. Yes, literally, like, half a month ago. 25th of April, I said to him, you need to play at a higher standard. And uh, what did he say? I don't want to sit on the bench. I'll work a lot harder. Right, we're going to give you another warning. I'm just going to say that uh, you haven't been scoring many. See if he actually listens. I know I've not been doing well. Well, score some goals. So we are on Wednesday the 16th of May and we are not currently playing. However, there are some matches. And by some, all three matches are kind of of interest to us. The PSG one... Not so much, it's just more based on form. The big one there in the middle, Nantes versus Lyon. We want Nantes to win that one. Monaco versus Nice as well. It would be nice if Nice can actually beat Monaco. I've not got as much faith in Nice as I do in Nantes. Well, great. Monaco, Lyon and PSG all won. So it means then going into the final game of the season, PSG just one point away from getting that 100 points for the season. So... We are going to be up against a team who really want to hit a record. Monaco are now too far away to be caught, so they have guaranteed themselves second place in the table. Leon are just one point behind us. We need to get a victory against PSG or hope that Leon don't get a victory over whoever they're playing. Final game of the season then, up against PSG, who are in excellent form, and like I've just said, they are one point away from that 100 points for the entire season. They've lost just two matches, and they were very, very early on in the save. I say in the save, in the season. They've drawn three against Lens, Marseille, and Toulouse, all away from home, which uh, I guess is kind of a good thing. Uh, they've won 32 matches, quite a lot of them by the looks of it. They don't even concede. Elsewhere, Lyon are away from home against Marseille. Marseille need a victory here. That is good, because I'm hoping Marseille can win, and that means it doesn't matter really what happens against PSG, because they, they're not going to get the same amount of points as us. The final game of the season then, usually, I'd play a bunch of children in the starting eleven, but because we need to win this game, I'm going to try and play a very strong side. And by very strong, I mean probably the strongest side we can possibly play, which also does mean we're playing a bunch of children. The RA, Vandele, Pokovac and Popov are all 21 at most. Just realised as well, I think my sub bench is wrong. I want Katiba on the bench. Katiba for some... No, Katiba can play. What am I doing? 
The starting lineup then is going to be Calvin Matupa in the sticks, Niare, Vandele, Pokrovac and Popov at the back, Divis and Kamara in the middle, Given Lavelle and Francis Katiba on the wings, Jean-Pierre Lecomte as the attacking midfielder and Marco Vergara as that striker. Hopefully Vergara can finally get himself back to scoring ways. You'll notice that there is no, uh, what's his name, Achille, because he's gone and picked up an injury. Um, a few days ago, or a day ago, he's picked up an injury. So, yeah, he's uh, he's missing the final game of the season. Also, Ali's on the bench. Ali can come off the bench. Um, he's played his final game. We're going to stick David Burkage on there. Ali is off, by the way, in the summer. Despite the fact they've got nothing to play for, PSG, as always, seem to be going full strength, which is a pain in the ass. Our final game then at our makeshift home kicks off in front of a sellout crowd as well. It's about 16,000, 15,000 people here, which is our biggest biggest attendance at this stadium. We're almost 1-0 down thanks to Sandro Tonali, but he heads it just over the bar. We are going to see the goal kick Matupa to Pokrovac. The young Croatian plays it forward to Hassan Kamara, gets it back though. Pokrovac stands still, forward to Popov. The Bulgarian, inside Kamara once again. He loves to pull the strings in the middle, keeps running with the ball, tries to find Given Lavelle, keeps it in play somehow, crosses in, and Francis Katiba is there at the back post, has made it 1-0. We're not even five minutes in. I would love it if we stopped PSG getting their 100 points. They're also two goals away from scoring 100 goals this season. I'd love it if we beat them They've only scored one goal at most, and we still beat them. That would be perfect. Since the Katiba goal, nothing really is happening. Marseille are dominating Lyon as well, which is perfect for us. It doesn't really matter what happens here now, because Marseille are so far in the lead against Lyon. Doesn't even, I can't even see Lyon scoring four goals. Five minutes left to play at the first half. Lucas Divis with the ball. Finds Kamara. Plays it all the way across to Popov, who has acres of space. He's got four in the box. Crosses in. It's headed clear. Tonali only as far as Divis, though. Divis to Lecomte. He's going to try and find Niare. He does get the ball eventually. Crosses in first time, and Marco Vergara is there with his 18th goal of the season. The Colombian finally gets on the score sheet. Does a lovely cartwheel to celebrate with 2-0 up against PSG. He's on a 7.3. He hasn't got a 7.3 for like six games now. Throw on for Hassan. Divis heads clear. Lovell heads... Why did he do that? He just headed it down to a PSG player. Medina now. Crosses in. Pellegri's there. It is headed just over the bar. It is going to be 2-0 to Dunkirk at half time. We have been arguably the better side. They've had six shots but only two on target. We do love a good foul though. Eight fouls for us. Just the one for them. Just going to get Eunice to do the uh, the team talk. I'm thinking we might mix it up a bit. We're going to do Lecomte off. Kevin Turner or Berkic? We're going to go scientific with this. Kevin Turner and David Berkic. Both of them can't really play as um, an attacking midfielder. But looking at the stats, I'd say maybe Berkic is better when it comes to vision. Maybe that's the thing that we go with. He's also better technically and mentally, but only just physically. It's, it's Berkic. It's David Berkic all the way. Second half kicks off then. Lecomte has come off. David Berkic is the player to replace him. Hopefully we don't concede. This will be ideal. If it stays this way, we can even concede one, get them on 99 goals, and still prevent them from getting their 100th point of the season. Sheriff Hassan's picked up a knock, so their left back is slightly injured, which means given Lavelle, if he was clever, he'd actually try and do some business down that right-hand side. I've just seen as well, Platt and Pinto, 6.1 and a 6.3. They are playing awful at the back. And our defenders are playing amazing, apparently. Asensio with a free kick. Octavio Jose is there. It is 2-1. Their 99th goal of the season. Matupa is very annoyed, despite the fact that he probably should have saved it. And by probably, he definitely should have saved it. Right, we're going to do another substitution. It is going to be... What do we do here? Maybe Kamara off? Kamara for Kevin Turner. We'll do that. Do we swap you two over? No, probably not. 20 minutes left to play of the season, then 20 minutes left to play at our temporary home. It is still 2-1 at the moment to Dunkirk, I believe Marseille. Oh, Marseille 3-1 now. So they're getting back into it, Leon. Probably too little, too late. Approaching the final five minutes. We are now in the final five minutes. We're going to do a time-wasting sub. Hani Ali for Marco Vergara. It doesn't look like anything is going to happen for the final few minutes. Although PSG have had a lot of chances in the second half. 
five minutes of injury time as well. Hopefully no highlights. I want no highlights. I want PSG to finish on 99 goals and 99 points. It is going to be a 2-1 victory. Thanks to the goals. I can't even remember who scored them. Doesn't really matter. Asensio plays it across the plat. He's not going to keep it in. He does keep it in. The full-time whistle goes. We've beaten the champions. They didn't get 100 points. They didn't score 100 goals. Screw you, PSG. And we finished third in the table. Final team talk of the season then. We'll do a passionate. A passionate. That is really special, lads. Really special. Everyone is looking pretty happy about it. Apart from Hanny Alley, who uh, doesn't get any special treatment from Eunice Kabul. There you have it then, third place in the table, 21 wins, 10 draws, positive 30 goal difference. I think we scored nearly 70 goals across the entire season, which is a stupid amount of goals. Monaco also winning on the final day, so they are now six points clear. I'm just happy that we've screwed PSG over. The fact that they didn't get 100 points and 100 goals just kind of made my day. Dunkirk confirm best ever league 1 finish as well, look at that. Time for the end of season awards then by the looks of it. So players to join the overall best 11, which is still a complete mess if I'm perfectly honest. Calvin Matupa has made it in there. So has Dragan Pokrovac, who has now played 121 games for us. That is a lot of games for a player who I think is 22 years old. Who else has joined? Jean-Pierre Lecomte has also joined into that 4-4-2 diamond. We've still got players in there. Bubba Casilla, I can understand he was... Bloody good when we had him. Babatore, not so sure about that one. Chiracha was good for us. Big Gids is in there. Big Gids is probably going to have a stand named after him at the new stadium. Simon Bogle is still in there in the starting 11, which is a bit questionable. Vergara and Faustin in there. Happy with that. Alan Varal was on the bench, which is always good. Levan Grimrads is there. Not, may, not really sure why he's on there. Had a good season once. Awards then... Player of the season, or fans player of the season, goes to Dragan Pokrovac. Vondelay and Hassan Kamara also in top three. Marco Vergara gets himself goal of the season. He was top goal scorer, so chances are he was going to score the best one. Nesta was the signing of the season, which is a bit of an odd one. £270,000. Pokrovac also picking up the young player of the season award. Our team of the season then is a 4-4-2 formation. And uh, yep, it's, it's the normal one, isn't it? Stats there, you can see Vergara with the most goals. 18 goals. Very, very good season for him, despite the fact that he was really bad towards the end of it. Abubakar Niare with a 7.21 average rating from right back. Lecomte with 12 assists. That's a huge amount of assists. Divis with the best pass completion. I think that's the first time Hassan Kamara hasn't won that award. Vergara, seven man of the matches. Hassan Kamara with 12 yellow cards. That's borderline impressive. Katiba Popov... Kaya and Nesta all picking up a single red card each. Let's see this Marco Vergara goal then against Montpellier. See if I remember it. I probably don't. It's probably a goal that was actually on camera, wasn't it? Nesta plays the ball into Vergara. Vergara takes a few touches, goes around his man, hits it from distance into the bottom corner. It was a good goal from the Colombian. Season review... We got knocked out in the group stages of the Champions League, which was expected. We then got to the quarter-final of the Europa League, which, to be honest, I didn't expect that. Down the bottom there, Coupe de la Ligue winners, something that I never thought we'd ever say. I was expecting the Coupe de la Ligue to be a competition that we always did really well in, but never actually won it. We've won it on our second time in a final. Right, lads, next season, we are going to go for Champions League. You are happy with that. I, I was optimistic. I was there thinking maybe they go, no, nah, that's too much. Just go for Europa League. No, they're happy with Champions League passionately. That is exactly the sort of reaction that I'm after. The board have announced that construction work has begun on the upgrade of the club's training and youth facilities. I did not request this. They've done this off their own back. £2.4 million, probably money well spent. In just over a month, our new stadium will be built. I don't know whether this is going to be technically this season or next season, but that is going to be a very important thing for us next year to have our own stadium that we can prob we'll probably sell it out, right? It's our own stadium. It's in the middle of Dunkirk, I assume. We should probably sell that out. The Europa League is also finished. Arsenal end up winning it, I believe. They beat yeah they beat Tottenham in the final, so there was a North London derby in the final of the Europa League. Annoyingly, we're not biggest overachievers. I guess if you drop out of the Champions League, you're probably not overachieving by getting to the quarterfinal of the Europa League. Oh my word. Champions League final 
and the winner is Monaco on penalties against PSG in Holland at the Johan Cruyff Arena. PSG didn't win the Champions League. We got £3.51 million for that, that's not bad. And an extra million pounds just for being in there, I guess. I think with PSG winning as well, it has now been confirmed that France is the second best club coefficients in uh, in Europe for next season. By So basically, it's going to be England at the top with 117, which is a huge number. Then we're going to be in second with 93. Then third is going to be Italy, Spain are going to drop all the way down to fourth place. A couple more days have passed, or weeks possibly have passed. The season is now over. It is time for some end of season awards by the looks of it. We've also got, interestingly, Brighton make Vandalay offer. I'm going to reject that. Also, this man is a scout. £13 million is what they've offered. Potentially 18 and a half. Uh, yeah, we're just going to reject it. We're in the Champions League, Brian. So before we get to our team... It looks like a couple of our players have actually won Player of the Season for League 2. So, Esley is currently our player on loan, obviously, at Le Mans. 13 assists in 36 games. That is a lot of assists. Vittorio Leone, also our player on loan at Laval, 11 assists. I'm guessing this is actually the top assister, I guess? Best goalkeeper by the looks of it then goes to Calvin Matu, but you can tell I can't speak French. Simon claims Etoile de F Dior France Football. Guardian. Um, I'm guessing that's goalkeeper of the year. So we get second place in that. Abubakar Niare gets African Footballer of the Year playing in France. I think is what that is. Sofane Khalid comes in third after spending a season on loan at Lille. Another goalkeeper of the year award this time goes to the PSG goalkeeper Raul Pinto. Manager of the year goes to Luis Enrique of Monaco. And team of the season then just the one player of ours in there thanks to Calvin Matupa. Kind of expecting maybe Niare in there. And the final bit of news then that we're going to have before we end this episode. You'll see here, director payout of £6.75 million. The man who was currently in charge of the club probably paid less than that for the club. And he's now getting that probably every year. Because we've made £118 million turnover in the last year. That is stupid money. Current financial year ends as well for the Champions League. We've made a profit of £80 million. £80 million. We can't spend money that fast. We've also been hit with a £12 million tax bill. £12 million in tax? Google don't even pay that much. Commercial summary. We get a new kit sponsorship deal, which is good because we only had a one-year deal. It's gone up from 25 to £3.2 million. It's still only another £1 million, uh, one million one-year deal, which is interesting. Sponsorship has gone up to 4.63. Broadcast has gone up. Corporate and hospitality has gone up, weirdly, a lot. Competition prize money? I'm guessing most of that is Champions League prize money, £26 million. We didn't, we didn't really win much, apart from the Coupe de la Ligue. And uh, match day commercial retail has also gone up by about half a million pounds. Lavelle, Vergara, Ali, Turner and Divis are the top earning shirt sellers. And that is going to do it then for this episode and this season. What I will say before I finish off this episode, the next season might be a bit delayed. Basically, real life things are kind of getting in the way at the moment. So it's it's become a little bit harder for me to get time to record videos and whatnot. So if there's random gaps and whatnot happening... I can only apologise. Don't worry, we're not going away. We will be back for season 12. But this is going to be the end of season 11. Thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy, if you wouldn't mind leaving a like. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. And I'll be back next time, someone, for season 12 and another venture into Europe in the Champions League.